What's going on you two? Now obviously this is a commentary over Call of Duty 4. But before I get started, um, just real quick, this is an actual re-upload that I, you know, uploaded a while back. And the reason why, you know, I had to take it down was because of that whole, you know, YouTube partnership garbage. For those of you who may not know, if you're going to apply for YouTube partnership, you have to take down any video you have that, you know, matches third-party content that includes any you know video game footage or anything like that or music or pictures you know stuff like that so I'm not going to be uploading every video but I will be uploading you know a few and um, some are going to go up on this channel and some are going to go up on my Shokyo Zone channel so if you haven't subscribed to my Shokyo Zone channel go check it out that's basically a channel I have for um for uh, debate videos and I'm also going to be uploading some random gameplay to that channel as well. So go subscribe to that if you want to, if you're interested, you know, in those kinds of things. But anyway, to the topic matter at hand, um, you know, why Call of Duty 4 is the best COD. And I wanted to, you know, kind of spice this video up, not just, you know, throw it up as a re-upload or just gameplay footage. You know, so I just decided to do a commentary over it. But um, the first reason being, this was the most balanced Call of Duty outside of Juggernaut. Juggernaut was pretty much the mo you know, the only unbalanced perk in the game. Everything else is pretty much fine. And if you were one of those people who went around with Juggernaut while using a light machine gun, you are a faggot. And I do not like you. <laughs> I don't like you. You really ruined like matches. For everybody else, you just don't understand. That was the gayest shit that people would do. They would use Juggernaut and get a light machine gun and just spray. Just spray away. But yeah, if you use Juggernaut, I don't like you and you're a fag. But anyways, yeah, outside of Juggernaut, the game was pretty much balanced. And um, a lot of people complain about the M16. But you know, at the same time, if you're better than somebody, like let's say, let's say you're using an MP5 somebody has an M16 if you're better than them you know you'll kill them you see what I'm saying so like yeah the M16 was a strong gun but it wasn't a gun that was just gonna you know make you win every um every face off you see what I'm saying it's, it's just not gonna happen but um yeah no it's just the most balanced one and then also you know it had simplistic the kill streak system was simplistic get three kills you got a UAV get five you got an airstrike at seven you get a helicopter and you only have one helicopter up in the sky at once Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops and, you know Modern Warfare 3 and you know crap you got 80 80 kill streaks you know just going on it's just crazy you have freaking you know five helicopters in the sky you got 10 chopper gunners you got 20 AC 130 gunships spawn camping might I add you know, people always, you know, find out the spawns of like every map and they get in their, you know, chopper gunners or whatever, AC 130s, and they just, you know, just, just spawn camp the hell out of the other team, you know. And this game really didn't have all that. So it's, it's basically, um, basically what I'm saying is with the other Call of Duty games, Infinity Ward and Treyarch could just started, you know, adding too much, like trying to do too much. And by adding, I'm not saying, you know, oh, they're trying to make it new. I'm saying, you know, adding the kill streaks and adding the perks. You know, just they added gear perks, you know, gear kill streaks, you know, things like that when they should have just kept it simplistic like Call of Duty 4 was. So balance and simplicity are the reasons why I say this is the best Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty 5 was pretty balanced as well and simplistic. You know, it's pretty much the same thing as this game, except it was uh, World War 2, which is exactly the reason why I'd give this game the edge over World at War because, you know, World at War came out during a time where, um, you know that these modern shooters you know just started coming out and it was you know like a, a breath of fresh air because we've been playing world uh world war ii shooters for so long you know and it, I'm, it was funny when um it was announced to be another world war ii shooter i can't say world war correctly um like everybody got angry and they raged got mad but it, it turned out to be a good game but like i said just because of the theme that you know the industry was trying to get away from i'd say that this game was a lot more enjoyable but, uh, yeah, and also, you know, the map design. The map design, in my opinion, is a lot better than the map design they have now. It seems with, you know, every iteration, the level design just gets lazier and, you know, just duller. But, um, 
I'm about to cut the video off right now because I only recorded five minutes of this footage. It was a um, little test I was doing with one of this this crappy ass capture card I got. But um, you know, those are my quick reasons. You know, I have more. I would elaborate more. But like I said, I'm out of footage. So um, I'll see you fools later. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below.